हेलो स्टूडेंट्स समग्र शिक्षा सिद्धिपेट प्रेजेंट्स अवर वर्ल्ड थ्रू इंग्लिश क्लास सेवन पेज एटी सिक्स यूनिट सिक्स ए हीरो पेज एटी सेवन ए रीडिंग Father was sitting under the hall lamp and reading the newspaper. He looked over the newspaper and said, "Swami, listen to this. News has been received about the bravery of a village lad who was returning home by the jungle path. While he was in the middle of the jungle, he came face to face with a tiger the newspaper gave a detailed account of the boy's fight with the tiger it also described how the boy flew up a tree where he stayed half a day at last some people came that way and killed the tiger After reading it through father looked at swami fixedly and asked what do you say to that i think he must have been a very strong and grown up person not a boy at all said swami how could a boy fight a tiger you think you know better than the newspaper father said crossly A man may have the strength of an elephant and yet be a coward another may be a mere skeleton but if he has real courage he can do anything courage is everything strength and age don't matter much how can that be said swami suppose i had a lot of courage but what could i do if a tiger attacked me can you prove you have courage said father with a scowl let me see if you can sleep alone tonight in my office room swami had always slept beside his granny in the porch the two always had their beds side by side any change in this arrangement kept him trembling and awake all night page 88 he hoped at first that father was only joking he tried to change the topic by saying father our captain says we shall have some elders also in our cricket club he had asked me to tell you we'll see about that later father cut in here after you must sleep alone from the first of next month i will sleep alone swami said very humbly trying to please his father no you must do it right from today father said sternly sleeping beside granny or mother like a baby is disgraceful you are now in the fifth standard and i don't like the way you are being brought up father lifted the newspaper to his face and started reading it again Swami rose quietly from his place and tiptoed to his bed in the porch. Granny was sitting up in her bed and she said, "Boy, are you already feeling sleepy today? Don't you want to hear a story?" Swami made no reply. He threw himself on the bed and pulled the blanket over his face. Don't cover your face said granny are you really so sleepy swami uncovered his face a little 
and whispered, Please, please, Granny, don't talk to me and don't let anyone disturb me even if the house is on fire. I shall perhaps die if I don't sleep at once. Then he turned over and curled under the blanket. He started snoring but soon found his blanket pulled away. Father was standing over him. Get up, Swami, father commanded. He looked like a ghost in the semi-darkness of the porch. Swami stood and groaned as if in sleep. Get up, Swami, said father a second time. Why do you disturb him? Granny pleaded. Get up, Swami, said father for the third time and Swami got up. Father rolled up his bed, took it under his arm and said, Come with me. Swami looked at Granny, hesitated for a moment and then followed his father into the office room. Let me sleep in the hall, father, Swami pleaded. Your office room is very dusty and there may be scorpions behind your law books. There are no scorpions, boy. You can sleep on the bench if you like. Can I have a lamp burning in the room? No, you must learn to be brave. You must not be afraid of darkness. It is only a question of habit. Will you at least leave the door open? Swami said very humbly. All right, said father. But promise you won't roll up your bed and go to your granny's side at night. If you do it, I'll tell your teacher and make you the laughing stock of the whole school. Swami was pained and angry. He did not like the cruelty his father was showing. He cursed the newspaper that had printed the tiger's story. He wished that the tiger had not spared the boy. The night advanced and the silence in the house deepened. Swami's heart began to beat faster. He remembered all the stories of devils and ghosts he had heard. He was almost faint with fear. Swami hurriedly got up and spread his bed under the bench and crouched there. It seemed to be a much safer place. He shut his eyes tight and encased himself in his blanket. Unknown to himself, Swami fell asleep. In his sleep, he had a terrible dream. A tiger was chasing him. Swami tried hard to escape, but his feet could not move. He tried to open his eyes, but his eyelids would not open. He groaned in despair. Page 89 At last, using utmost effort, he opened his eyes. He put his hand out to feel his granny's presence, as was his habit. But he only touched the wooden leg of the bench. At once his lonely state came back to him. He shook in fear and closed his eyes. He heard a little rustling noise in the room. What can this be? thought Swami and slowly opened his eyes. Something was moving in the darkness. Swami lay gazing 
at it in horror. He was certain that his end had come. The devil would soon pull him out and tear him to pieces. So what is the use of waiting, Swami thought. As it came nearer, Swami crawled out from under the bench. At once, he clutched its leg and dug his teeth in. There was a painful cry. Ayo! Something has beaten me. Then there was heavy tumbling and falling amidst furniture. Everyone in the house was awakened by the loud noise. In a moment, father and a servant came running with a light. Both of them fell on the burglar who lay amidst the furniture with a bleeding knee. The next day was a day of congratulations for Swami. His classmates looked at him with respect. His teacher patted his back for his courage and bravery. The headmaster said that he was a true scout. Swami had bitten into the knee of a notorious housebreaker and the police were grateful to him. Page 90 When father returned home from the club that night, he asked, Where is the boy? He is asleep. So early? He didn't have a wink of sleep the whole of last night, said Swami's mother. Where is he sleeping? In his usual place. Sleeping beside his granny again? Father exclaimed. That is why he wanted to be asleep before I returned home. Clever boy! Let him sleep where he likes, mother said angrily. You needn't risk his life again. All right, pamper him and spoil him as much as you like, father mumbled as he walked away to his room. Swami was following the whole conversation from under the blanket. He felt a great relief to hear his father giving him up. R.K. Narayan